So in the last video, I showed how we could make a Q&A maker service, which is essentially the intelligence aspect of our question and answer chatbot. In this case, we used it against some uh, frequently asked questions uh, on tes for Tesla new owners. Now, while the endpoint is functional, um, we want to integrate this with Azure Bot service so we can deploy it to a channel. So to do that, you'll need an Azure subscription, log onto the Azure portal, now I've already pre-created all the resources, but um, I'll just quickly show you how that's done. So if you search for Azure Bot Service, it's the web app bot that we want to create. So you provide your bot a name. Uh, there are two tiers, uh, F0 is free, so you probably want to pick that one for uh, testing purposes. And the bot template is what's important. Because um, we've created one using the Q&A maker, um, it's the question and answer template that we want to choose. Uh, this makes the integration really easy. And then everything else we can kind of leave as default. Um, you know, you may want to turn off application insights as if it's just using it for demo purposes. So I'll just discard all that, show you what I've got in my resource group. So you can see here, I've just got those four components. We'll open up the web app bot. Now we've got a couple of options here. If we go to test, uh, right now we, nothing's been integrated. So uh, if we you know, type in hello or uh, one of the questions that we had in our FAQ, it's, it's going to complain. So it's around this missing Q&A knowledge base ID and subscription um, key. Um, so to answer that, we'll need to punch those into application settings. So if we scroll to the bottom, you can see those um, those two keys here. So we'll just copy and paste. So the knowledge base ID is contained in the endpoint. And the subscription key. So if we save those, Once they're saved, we can go back into the test. If we type, you know, hi, our integration with the Q&A maker service should now be complete. So, you know, how do I enable autopilot? How does autopilot work? Okay. so. They may need some, um, you know, active learning aspect to get all the different variances of the questions right. But otherwise, our Q and A maker and our Azure Bot service is now integrated. But the experience is still confined to Azure Portal at this point. You know, we haven't built an interface. So how do we expose it to external users? Um, under channels, this is one of the cool aspects of Azure Bot services. Once you've built your bot once, um, you can deploy it in many channels. Um, whether it's you know SMS with Twilio. Um, Cortana, Microsoft Teams. In this example, I'm going to show how we can do it with Slack. So if you click on Slack, you can see it's expecting some credentials. Um, the step-by-step -step instructions are available on Microsoft's own documentation. Um, you know, for, for each of the different channels, there's a different set of steps. So we'll be following this through for the Slack, but otherwise, whichever channel is of interest to you, you can follow those steps. So. For Slack, um, we need to go to api.slack.com. You'll need to create a Slack workspace uh, and register for the Slack API if you haven't done so already, if this is the one that you want to follow. So we start off by creating an app. Choose our Slack workspace. Okay. So now we want to um, add a new redirect URL. So we'll click on OAuth and permissions. Add a new redirect URL, type in HTTPS slack.botframework.com, click add, click save. All right, so now we'll create a Slack bot user. So we'll click bot users, add a bot user. So we can say, you know, call it Tesla. Tesla show my bot is always online and click add. We 
Okay, so now we want to subscribe to certain events. So we'll click on event subscriptions. We'll enable events. And we'll type in our request URL. So HTTPS slash.framework.com slash API slash events slash uh, Tesla. Okay. Click and add bot user event, and we're going to subscribe to a couple of different events. So, um, member joined, member left, message up channels, groups. Okay, so we've subscribed to our events. So if we go and add and configure interactive messages, select the enable interactive components, we'll enter HTTPS, select slash API slash actions. And lastly, we need to gather the credentials. So. Okay, so here are all the details that we need um, to punch back into Azure Bot Server. So we'll copy our client ID, copy our secret, a verification token. Okay, save. It will authorize. Go back to our channels. We can see our Slack um, bot is running. So if we open up Slack, we can see there's a new app called Tesla. So we'll say hi. How does um, autopilot work? I might be asking the question in the wrong format. Oh, it's all good. So there's our question and answer. So if we go back to the Q and A, uh, how fast can I charge? How fast can I charge my Tesla? And there you go. Um, so without any code, um, we've gone from the Q&A maker service, integrated with Azure bot service and deployed to the Slack channel. Um, for all other options, like I said, you check out the Microsoft documentation. There's a whole bunch of different channels that you can deploy to. Um, but yeah, that's it.